a tenants' rights advocate who released a swarm of bees on deputies who were serving an eviction in Massachusetts, is finally facing criminal charges, but they did not give her a bond, and so she walked free. I'm Tony, and this is Real Estate Investing in Landlord News. Rebecca Susan Woods of Hadley has been charged with assault and disorderly conduct. According to the Hamden County Sheriff's Office, the bees that Woods released stung several officers and bystanders during an eviction in Longmeadow last October. Woods had been wearing a beekeeper suit and was not stung. Two deputies were stung and had to be taken to the hospital. She's due back in court September 12th. All right, so I have an interesting update for an article that I covered a while back about a crazy lady. I mean, she had to be absolutely insane, right? Who was trying to interrupt this eviction that was going on in Massachusetts, right? So she released a swarm of bees on the deputies who were serving this eviction. And I mean, the, the swarm of bees was bad because they went around, they stung the officers, they stung, you know, other bystanders. One of the officers had to go to the hospital because he had an allergy to bee stings, okay? And you know, it, this is a horrible situation. In my opinion, they should throw the book at this lady, okay? She is just a straight criminal, and I don't know why she's even allowed to walk free, but apparently they didn't even give her a bond. She was able to just go home and, you know, enjoy yourself. Meanwhile, we have a sheriff's deputy who possibly could have lost their life if they didn't get, you know, hospital treatment quickly enough. So, you know, being a fellow law enforcement officer, I'm just sitting here and I'm like, hey, you know, throw the book at these people who are attacking our law enforcement officers who are just doing their jobs. You know, if you have a problem with the person who is um, the owner of the home, that's one thing. But hey, these law enforcement officers are just, they're following court orders. And you know what? We need them. We need them. They're protecting our communities. They're doing the, the work that people, you know, just wouldn't want to do otherwise. Okay. And you're attacking them. Okay, throw the book at those people. And this lady needs to be sitting in jail right now. So before I get into the article, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button. Maybe leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. So I had a discussion with my wife, right? And we were discussing what would happen. Okay, let's say I was the deputy and I was serving this eviction notice, right? And somebody released swarms of bees on me. And I was like, well, you know, like depending on if she was actively like it, actively in the act of releasing these bees, I might shoot her. I'm not, I'm not joking, okay? It, it depends, right? Like if she had already released them and she was no longer a threat, no, no. But I mean, if she is still, you know, actively throwing these bees at, at my fellow officer who could possibly die from bee stings because he's allergic, well, yeah, I mean, deadly force might be justified, okay? What do you think, okay? Do you think that might be going a little bit too far? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I have a different, you know, opinion. I, I don't know if it's the right opinion or not in, because this is such an insane situation that <laughs> how do you, how do you say, oh, well, you know, but if you look at the charges, this lady got, uh, pressed against her. Well, maybe it was a deadly force situation. So anyway, let's get into this article. This article is coming from WWLP.com and it says Hadley woman in court for allegedly attacking officers with beehives. Yeah, and uh, allegedly attacking officers with beehives. She definitely did it, and I hope that, you know, she gets convicted and they don't, you know, plead down to some minor charges where she doesn't do any jail time. But anyway, let's get into the article. Springfield, Massachusetts. A woman accused of releasing bees on sheriff's deputies to stop an eviction at a Longmeadow home this past October was in court on Wednesday. Rebecca Susan Woods of Hadley appeared in Springfield District Court Wednesday morning. According to Hampton County Sheriff's Office on October 12th, Woods pulled up to an ongoing eviction on Memory Lane in Longmeadow in a blue Nissan Xterra. Woods left her dog in the car and immediately went to the beehives being towed by her SUV and tried to open the lids to unleash the bees. A sheriff's deputy tried to stop Woods, but she made the bees angry and they started to circle the area. Woods then smashed the lid and flipped the hive off the flatbed, which made the bees very aggressive. The bees stung several officers, some of whom are allergic, 
and bystanders who were, sta were watching nearby. One officer was taken to the hospital for bee stings. So yeah, that's a good summary of everything that happened, right? And I don't know what exactly was going on where she was protesting the, the eviction that was going on at this house, right? But she decided that, oh, the best way to stop this eviction was basically to get violent. And when that happens, it sounds to me like she had multiple beehives on the back of this truck, right? So she knocks over one beehive and, you know, they, they start swarming and attacking. The officer's sitting there trying to stop her and she's, you know, she's got multiple beehives and she's, you know, releasing these things. You know, like this is a deadly weapon we're talking about here, okay? She is doing a purposeful attack on the, the officers and the people there who are just trying to serve this eviction. And simply put, you know, like I said, I might have shot her. <laughs> you know, I, you know I'm, I'm glad I wasn't in that situation. I'm glad that, you know, um, the officer didn't die after, you know, being hospitalized with these, you know, excessive numbers of bee stings or any of the other people in the area. But you know what, this lady, you know, this is, I mean, a straight case of, uh, simply put, she's assaulting an officer. And I don't know if uh, in Massachusetts they actually have that charge, but that, that's what it sounds like to me. Like that was her full intention was for these bees to attack the officer. She wasn't just throwing the beehives down for fun or there was no accident involved. She came there to that site at that exact moment with that purpose in mind. Okay, so that's why she needs to have the book thrown at her, but that's not exactly what happened, right? And I'm, I'm worried that this case is going to be, you know, where she gets pled down and she doesn't face any consequences for her actions, right? The soft on crime nonsense that goes on in these, you know, very left-leaning places is ridiculous. And you'll see what I mean here in just a moment. <clears throat> Woods put on a professional beekeeper suit to protect herself, then carried a tower of bees near the front door of the home to try to stop the eviction, which has been stop and go for nearly two years. At the front door of the home, she tried to agitate the bees more and was arrested by sheriff's deputies and booked at the Western Massachusetts Regional Women's Correctional Facility. Woods was released without bail and charged with the following. So you read that right, right? She was released without bail, okay? So simply put, you know, and this happened months ago. This happened months ago. So it, it's ridiculous to me that, you know, it's been months. This lady didn't serve any time in jail whatsoever for assaulting an officer, for assaulting, you know, all those bystanders, for, you know, uh, basically what could have been a uh, somebody resulting in somebody's death, okay? It, it bothers me that, Oh, she didn't do any jail time for it, you know, and they're, they're probably just like, oh, well, this is, you know, like some eccentric, ridiculous Hollywood scene. No, this is real life. OK, this is real life. You have to face real consequences for your actions. Otherwise, the only thing you're doing is encouraging more people to do the exact same thing. They're going to be out there and they're going to get violent with officers who are just out there doing their jobs and there's no reason for that. There is absolutely no reason for that. But anyway, let's go over these charges, right? And I, I don't know if this is, you know, uh, these are felonies or misdemeanors because it doesn't say in the article. It says they charged her with assault and battery by means of a dangerous weapon, assault by mean, uh, four counts, uh, assault by means of a dangerous weapon, three counts, and disorderly conduct, right? And so, you know, having seen so many court cases, it's very likely that they're going to get these pled down to where she doesn't do any jail time or if she does do jail time, it'll be very minor. Maybe the disorderly conduct will be the only one that'll be on her record, a misdemeanor. Meanwhile, the officer sitting up in the hospital all messed up, you know, like this is why people don't want to be law enforcement officers because, you know, the, the courts don't have your back. The um, local governments don't have your back and they treat criminals as though they are children. Oh, here's your little slap on the wrist. Give me a break. Okay. All this over an eviction, all of that. Okay. <sighs> ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Throw the book at this lady, put her in prison. I'm not joking there. She needs to go to prison. You know, maybe a few years in prison would teach her 
that, hey, you need to follow the law. If you're against something, you know, peaceful protest is okay, but attacking people with bees, it's going too far.